what do you feel are two or three things that someone trying to break into cybersecurity should be going after? That way they're marketable. Because you're right, 140 jobs that you applied for and interviewed through, right? How can this person get that many interviews? But more than that, how can they work through becoming the right candidate? I mean, my, my argument is that we should be training them how to interview properly. But what, what do you think two or three things are for these new, these new cyber folks coming in? So the first thing is definitely tailored a resume. Um, you know, as a veteran separating from and going through transition class, they taught us how to write resumes, but I was getting out during COVID. So the resumes I was taught was not how to do it for online ATS. Mm -hmm. Um, but as soon as I, I learned how to tailor it to the job specifically, I was able to take a master resume and pick and pull items that matched that job description to where I can meet that 70 to 100% uh, window. If I couldn't meet the 70%, I wouldn't pursue it. Um, and that's how I had such a high success rate with interviewing. Um, and I would say chase the actual practical knowledge. Um, and I say the practical knowledge because let's be honest, a lot of companies are looking for that hands-on person as soon as they hit the ground. So, you know, utilizing community editions of like Range Force, Immersive Labs, uh, you know, if you want to do some cyber threat going into Attack IQ and getting hands on with their stuff, but really, really getting that hands on that way when that interview time comes, not only do you know the theory that you're going to learn from that degree or that cert, you're going to know, okay. I've went through this. It might not be the same type of question, but I can break it down into a way they can understand. Um, and then third would be really soul search what you want to do. You know, cybersecurity is, is vast. Uh, you know, just on nice alone, there's 52 roles. <laughs> you know, and that's, that's not even talking about, you know, all the different type of roles that we create ourselves. You know, I might say I want a security engineer, and that security engineer is actually a firewall engineer, right? And it's 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 up to us as leaders also to help redefine what what that clear divide is between IT and cyber. Um, you know, no longer am I worried about end users. I'm worried about the business. I'm worried about the clients. I'm worried about the customers and bringing more money in and their, uh, their safety. Um, no longer am I worried about, you know, going on and, and making sure that somebody reset their password. 